Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and have become such as, uh, as have need of milk and not of strong meat. He said, there are some people, they've forgotten the first principles. They've forgotten the first decisions they made, consecration they made unto the Lord. He says, bring that back, those false principles. If that is what we are to do, point number three now, a peculiar day for a grand future. A peculiar day for a grand future. Your future is grand. Your future will be glorious in Jesus' name. There, you know, there's no day like days. I've told you before in Joshua chapter, chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 14. Joshua, Joshua, I'm reading to you there in chapter, in chapter 10. And we're looking at verse 14. Joshua chapter 10. We're looking at such a peculiar day. This day is a peculiar day in your life. I thought you'll say amen. amen. Joshua chapter 10, Joshua chapter 10. And we're reading from verse 14. It says, and there was no day like that before it or after it. Didn't I tell you peculiar, peculiar, unique, and special. There was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. The Lord is going to fight for you this day a peculiar day no day like this you must understand that this special day anything you open your mouth to say that is beneficial that is going to make your life great at this year anything you open your mouth to say after this message right there where you are now god is going to confirm it in jesus name there is no day like this before or after that God will hack into the voice of a man and the voice of a woman. The Lord is opening the sky, the heavens before you. And the Lord is saying, if you had miracles before this is a special day, greater miracle. If you had signs and wonders before this is a special day, greater signs and wonders. That there is no day like this that God will hack into any man and any woman. Therefore, you are now formulating what you are going to say. When it comes to the time to pray, don't ask for peanuts and for toys. Ask for something great and something big. And God is going to do it in your life in Jesus' name. What a day, what a day, what a day. It's going to be like that in your life in Jesus' name. Look at verse 42. Verse 42. And all these kings and their land, the Joshua take at one time because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel. The Lord is fighting for you from now on. I said he's fighting for you from now on. You don't have any battles to fight anymore. God has taken over your uh, battles. And is going to fight for you in Jesus' name. Look at Joshua chapter 23. Joshua 23. I'm reading from verse 3 there. And ye have seen all that the Lord your God has done unto all these nations because of you. Because of you. For the Lord your God is he that hath fought for you. The Lord has fought for you. Then look at verse 5, it says in verse 5, And the Lord your God, he shall expel them from before you, and drive them from out of your sight, and ye shall possess their land, as the Lord your God has promised unto you. Be ye therefore very courageous, this is a year of courage, to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that he that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left, that ye come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, or nor cause to, to swear by them, neither, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them, but cleave unto the Lord your God. As ye have done unto this day, for the Lord your God uh, driveth uh, uh, as driven out from before you great nations and strong, but as for you, no man has been able to stand before you unto this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God. God, he it is that fighteth for you as he has promised you. As he has promised you. I said as he has promised you. 
it will do it in Jesus' name. Second Chronicles chapter 20, Second Chronicles chapter 20, the Lord is telling you that this year, all your battles, he has taken all your battles over. And he it is that will fight for you in Jesus' name. I'm looking at Second Chronicles chapter 20. I'm reading there from verse 15. It says in verse 15, And he said, Hacking ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, the Lord does say, the Lord unto you, Remember, Jehoshaphat is gone. You are the person here now. You are the one the Lord is speaking to today. Be not afraid, nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. The battle is not yours, but the battle belongs to the Lord. Look at verse 17. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself and stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. What a day. What a day. What a day is today that the Lord is saying for the rest of this week and this month and this year, the Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. Look at verse 20. And they rose in the morning. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went for Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, and so shall ye be established any believer here today? As any believer there today? You are established in Jesus' name. And then believe his prophets and so shall ye prosper. This year I will prosper. I said this year I will prosper. Because I believe I'm going to prosper in Jesus' name. Because you believe you are going to prosper in Jesus' name. Now, Haggai chapter 2. We're back to Haggai. Haggai has a word for you before you leave here today. Everybody say Haggai chapter 2. Haggai, Haggai chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 7. It says, And I will shake all nations. And the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. Do you have any project you have been contemplating? I want to do that, but there's no money. The silver is mine and the gold is mine. Do you have an assignment you want to carry out and say, but where is the money? The gold is mine, the silver is mine, says the Lord. You want to educate that child, you want to get that thing for your wife, establish your wife in that thing, and then you're saying, but where is the money? It says the silver is mine and the gold is mine. And you're thinking, about the church, your local church or you know your uh, regional church, you are thinking of the state church or whatever it is, national church and the Lord is saying the silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord there is no limitation this year there is no lack this year the Lord will provide and supply all our needs this year in Jesus name verse 9 and the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former I thought you missed an amen over there. The glory of this latter house. The rest of your life. The rest of your life. You know, brush all those tears away and all you are thinking about, all the confusion and the sorrow and the oppression and depression of the past. Brush all that away because something is happening today. Now the Lord is saying, look at your life and look and this life, the glory of days of the latter of the latter life, latter part of my life shall be greater than of the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, says the Lord of hosts. In this same place where you have been, and it have you have received the message from our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, the general superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you will accept the old world and you will let them sink into the, your hearts. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our, our pastor shall come up again to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends. And I believe as you are listening to the message every week, by the grace of the Lord, you will never be the same. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, because of today's message. We thank you, O Lord, because of the one you let us listen to last week and the one we are going to listen to the next week by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. If you tarry, we shall listen together once again next week. 
And if not, every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.